Toronto is a city of neighborhoods, each one unique onto itself. But one thing they do have in common, and this is a good thing, is the somewhat sudden appearance of these. The affordable, portable access ramp coming soon to a city near you. This week, the Mercer Report meets the man who is changing Canada's cities one step at a time. And this is the founder and executive director of the Stop Gap Foundation, Luke Anderson. Hello, Luke. How are you? Hey, Rick. I'm great. Thank you. Thank you for being on the show. Thanks for the opportunity to, to share. Welcome to my neighborhood. I've been wandering around here for a long time. I was so pleased to see these things popping up all over the neighborhood. Uh, this is our, these are, this is what we do. These, these are, are your babies. Yeah, yeah. This is how we're raising awareness about the importance of a barrier-free society. They just slide in and out. You just pick them up, you put them in place like that. And uh, since you've been making them, yeah. how many have you had installed in the city? In the city, we've got close to 600, but we've got almost 1,200 right across the country. How frustrating was it when you saw a business like this that should be accessible, except they don't have a ramp that's just literally this tall? That's right. So very frustrated. So over time, my my running into steps in my day-to-day -day life made my frustration with the problem boil over. So this wonderful initiative was born out of rage. I love that. We have a lot in common. Yeah, I, I was upset. I was angry. I was also noticing that other people were having a problem with that same step. Parents pushing strollers, delivery people. We all, we all benefit from barrier-free amenities. And now we're sitting outside the Detroit Eatery, one of my favorite places to eat on the Danforth. And you and I can eat here. Fantastic, yeah. Because? They, they've got one of our ramps. This is where I first saw the ramp. Right on. Yeah, and it said stopgap.ca, so I went to the page and I learned all about you, and here we are. Right on. So right you right take a, a street that is not accessible, and like that, it's accessible. Yeah, we, we paved the street with our brightly painted ramps and transform the community. Well, as much as I would love to sit here all day and chat, I need to build a ramp, correct? So we've got some work to do. Yes, let's do it. But first, all right. let's have a coffee. Hey. After you. Good. And they have a ramp. They have a ramp. Look at the ease in which Luke enters the diner. It's a miracle. And this is Chris Antares. He's the owner, operator of the Detroit Eatery on the Danforth. Hello, Chris. How are you? Very well, Rick. Yourself? Good to see you, sir. We see each other a fair bit. We see each other almost every weekend, something like that. We spend a lot of weekends together. Having eggs, etc. Now, you've got this beautiful stopgap step out front. Yes, we do. How long have you had that? Thing? We've had it about two to three years. Do you yeah. find that there's more people in wheelchairs, more people with accessibility issues coming Definitely. through the doors? Now? Definitely. It makes it so much easier for them to come into not only my establishment, any establishment. They're very common on the Danforth, aren't they? Almost everyone has one on this strip, yes. Which is amazing. That's great. great. All right, I will see you... Uh, on the weekend. For eggs. This is the Dixon Hall Mill Center. So okay. Dixon Hall is an employment support program. Okay. And they've welcomed us into their shop. So this is one of these outfits where people come and they get real skills. Real skills. So I could leave here today and be employable for the first time in my life. Now I'm standing next to the Sharp Things with, hello, what's your name? Steven. Hello, Steven. Nice to see you. You're a volunteer with Stopgap. That's right, yes. Do you know what you're doing? I do. OK. And you're going to teach me. Oh! I love that sound. Oh, there you are. Don, Don, you just put your ass into the wood and made a cut. The <laughs> ramp is ruined, Don. <laughs> Where would you see stopgap ramps? We've got ramps from coast to coast. Halifax, right. Charlottetown on the east coast, all the way to Prince George and, and Richmond in, in the west. So say you're yeah. in Sudbury. Are there any in Sudbury? Not yet. OK, so say you're in Sudbury and someone goes, I would not only like a ramp for my business, or maybe I don't have a business, but I would like to ensure that ramps are available, to contact you, and there's basically a business model they can follow. Absolutely. Yeah, we coach people through doing what we've done successfully here in Toronto. I think now I'm ready to build like a dining room table. What's a ramp cost? 
between $150 to $350, depending on the height of the step and the condition of the sidewalk. Hey! Ta-da! Right on. All righty. Beautiful. Let's go deliver a ramp. To Riverdale. To Riverdale. Can't believe you don't have a handicap sticker. <laughs> what was that? There's no camera. <laughs> Where was the pole? God almighty. <laughs> Here we are. Okay. Rampage complete. Perfect fit. Access for all. Let's have an ice cream. After you. After me.